What's up YouTube, Saf here on Super Saf TV with another unboxing today, but this time something a little different than usual. It's an Android mini TV. Now, for those of you who don't know what one of these is, it's basically a small unit that connects into the HDMI port on your TV and brings Android to it, uh, in essence, making it a smart TV. Now, uh, you can't actually get these from your standard retailers, not actually in the UK anyway. So I've had this shipped over from China. And uh, to give you a quick look around um, the box, so you've got the uh, mini TV branding here and it runs Android 4.1, a jelly bean. Um, in terms of the specs, you've got an RK3066 dual core 1.6 gigahertz uh, Cortex A9 processor with one gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. And it's got eight gigabytes of storage on the unit, but you can expand that with micro SD. Now, um, uh, the other features have got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, the pretty standard stuff here. I've also got a, a remote with it as well because I'm um, usually can connect uh, a keyboard and mouse via USB or a wireless keyboard or mouse. But I thought it'd be easier if I just got this, uh, which is a, a wireless uh, air mouse keyboard. Um, and it's also got a, a trackpad. I think this is the a sorry RC12. So let's quickly look into the box of the mini TV. So we'll just open it up here. Okay, so we'll put the box at the side. So this is the main unit. This is what's got everything onto it. We'll put that to the side for a second and just look at what else you get in here. So you've got the AC adapter, which is an international connector. So we're actually gonna have to get a converter here in the UK. You've got the cable that goes from the AC adapter to the unit itself. Now this is gonna power it up and charge it. You've got the mini USB to a USB standard connector. Now this is this can be used for adding devices or for storage, etc. And finally, you've got the mini HDMI to HDMI. This is gonna be used to connect the device to the TV. And then you've got the um, instruction manual here. So that's everything that comes with it. To have a quick look around the unit. So this is the unit itself, pretty small. Now there is other units which connect directly on uh, to the TV, but what I don't like about those is you just have a big bulk um, on the side of your TV. Whereas with this, because it's got a wide connection that goes out, I think it'd be better because of all the different things that'll be connecting into it. So have a quick look around. So on the front, you've got your mini TV branding on here. Along the side, you've got the micro SD card slot. Moving on, you've got the USB input. Now this is your standard USB, which is gonna be used for things like your mouse and keyboard. I'll personally be using it for the uh, wireless air remote. Next to it, you've got the mini USB port. Now this is gonna be used for powering the device. So this is gonna use the uh, cable to go directly into the AC adapter. Then you've got the mini USB support, which you can connect the uh, mini USB cable onto and add the uh, USB, a uh, standard USB onto there. And finally, you've got the mini HDMI port. Now this is gonna allow you to connect the device on to your screen. Looking at the air remote, now this again, I got it bundled with the device, um, uh, so I could actually use it. So just having a quick look here. So this is, uh, let's just have a look here, so there you go. So um, what else does it come with? Nope, that's it. So it's got the instruction manual here, and um, that's it really, nothing else inside the box. Okay, so um, this is the uh, wireless uh, remote, the air remote. So you've got the QWERTY keypad, the standard on here, and then you've got this uh, little trackpad here, which will be used as your mouse to sort of uh, touch, I believe. And um, that's it really, it's not really got anything else on here. I'm not sure how to open this. All right, so that was uh, quite difficult to open. What you actually, what I actually have to do is um, uh, use a screwdriver to put that in there to get this back to the off. And what you actually get inside here, so you've got, it really requires a three AAA batteries on here. And you also get this uh, little um, unit, which I believe is gonna be plugged into the mini TV unit and uh, that will uh, allow the connectivity from it. So uh, let's get this powered up and just have a quick first look to give you guys a better idea of how everything works. So we've just got it hooked up uh, onto a TV and uh, as you can see, it's running uh, Jelly Bean uh, 4.1.1 on here. 
It's got a pretty custom interface. It's uh, it's, it's more of like a tablet interface, but you've got um, some extra features such as this Explorer, which you can do, uh, which you can use to check the internal storage, etc. Really liking the wireless uh, air remote. It's very, very easy to use. I was expecting it to be a bit more difficult. It does take a little bit of time to uh, get the hang of it, but it's uh, pretty good. So I've just run a few updates on the device and we've got things like uh, YouTube and stuff, which is pre-installed. And uh, just to give you a quick demo of how things work, we'll just go on to the YouTube app here. We'll go into my channel, of course, and let's just check out one of the recent videos that I've done to see how it plays. I will make it full screen after the buttons load. There we go. And uh, there we go. What's up, YouTube? Saf here on Super Saf TV. I do a lot of comparisons on there I am. You don't want to see too much of me. Um, so that was just a quick YouTube demo on there. You've also got the uh, Play Store. I mean, again, I'm not sure how many how many apps, etc., are going to be compatible uh, with this device because it isn't your standard uh, Android uh, mobile phone or tablet. So it'll be interesting to see. I mean, if you do want to see a full review of this device, do drop me a comment below and let me know. And then after I've used it for a little bit longer and uh, had more time with the device, then uh, I can possibly post a full review. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, uh, please, please do hit that thumbs up button. It really does help me out. And why not subscribe to the channel? I've got plenty more content coming up on here. Thanks for watching. This is Saf on Super Saf TV, and I'll see you next time.